Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we are running through 10 players under the age of 23 that your club have to sign this summer. Let's get started. 10. Gerien Timber A name you may recognise from Frank de Boer's squad for this summer's Euros, Gerien Timber didn't let his nation down on any of his three appearances. That shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who has been following the 20-year-old Ajax defender's rapid progress. Having only made his debut in March 2020, Joel Veltman's departure to Brighton last summer saw Timber's game time explode in 2020-21. He made 20 Eredivisie appearances despite being sidelined with two separate issues, including Covid during the campaign. When he was on the pitch, Timber showed all of the hallmarks of an Ajax Academy graduate, tactical flexibility, calmness in possession and a joy in what they do. Despite playing for a side that averaged 60% possession, 3% more than the next best PSV, Timber still found time to complete 3.4 tackles and interceptions, with his 77% tackle success rate dwarfing those of teammates Blind and Schurz. Capable of completing 88% of his passes, it's clear that Timber has everything he needs to follow in the footsteps of Ajax graduates Rijkaard, De Boer and De Ligt, and succeed abroad. Currently valued at 11 million euros, this is one to jump on before it's too late. 9. Martin Zouimendi In a squad in which 7 players aged 25 or under made at least 20 league starts last term, if you want to talk about wonder kids, you have to travel to Real Sociedad. Whilst Alexander Isaac or Ander Baranicia are more obvious shouts, we want to shine a light on 22-year-old defensive midfielder Martin Zouimendi. Dreaming of following in the footsteps of L'Areal midfield royalty Xabi Alonso and Ilar Amendi, Zui Mendy appears to have all the qualities to play at an elite level. Last season saw him combine 3.9 tackles and interceptions, with no Real Sociedad midfielder being dribbled past fewer times than his 0.6 per 90, with an excellent 4.8 passes into the final third, 0.6 more than N'Golo Kante managed at Chelsea. Factor in an aerial dual win rate of 66%, 13% more than his much talked about colleague Mikel Moreno, and it's clear that Zui Mendy, recently capped for the first time by La Roja, would be an excellent and relatively cheap pickup for any side looking for a defensive midfielder. Crystal Palace, maybe. 8. Edmund Tapsoba Whilst you'll be aware of Bayer Leverkusen's excellent attacking options, which include Wurtz, Bailey, Diaby and Schick, it's in their defence that the true hidden gem lies, Edmund Tapsoba. The 22-year-old Burkina Faso international only signed for the club from Vitoria in January 2020, but has quickly made himself indispensable to the club. 2020-21 saw the 6 foot 4 man Mountain play over 2,600 league minutes, the most in Leverkusen's squad helping his side concede just 39 league goals, the third best record in Germany. Despite not being as physically dominant as his partner Jonathan Tarr, he still wins a solid 67% of his aerial duels. But it's with the ball at his feet that he really stands out, with no player in Germany topping his 90 passes a game with an exceptional 90% pass accuracy. Tapsoba isn't just playing it safe either, he completes 6.7 long balls a game, third for outfielders in the division, and 4.9 passes into the final third per 90, more than left-back Andy Robertson. Already valued at £36 million by Transfermarkt, and with five years remaining on his deal, he won't come cheap, but in a year or two, we could be looking at the next £60 million plus centre-back. 7. Manor Solomon Whilst Tete and Dodo might be attracting their fair share of attention, we believe Shakhtar the next best prospect is Manor Solomon. Signed from Maccabee Petar Tikva in his native Israel two years ago, the 21-year-old who can play in midfield as a number 10 and on either wing already has Champions League goals against Atalanta, Man City and a brace against Real Madrid to his name. This form has unsurprisingly seen him earn international recognition, and earlier this summer, he contributed two goals and an assist in four matches, with his performance against Scotland in Tel Aviv particularly memorable. Playing off Zahavi and Weizmann, he gave McTominay and McGregor a torrid time in midfield, ending the game with four dribbles, four key passes, three shots and an assist to his name. Although a move might be a little early this summer, if he replicates his 2021 form, which saw him contribute 10 goals in 23 league starts and complete 3.9 take-ons per 90 in the Champions League, he could be one of the bargains of 2022. 6. Vitaly Mikolenko 
Whilst Vitaly Mikolenko might not have the Champions League pedigree of Solomon, with only four Champions League appearances to his name to date, having made well over 100 appearances for his club and represented his country at the Euros, he's certainly not short of experience. A left-back who is also capable of playing in a back three or as a wing-back, the 22-year-old has shown enough promise in his early career to suggest he has a future at the top level. Take last season for example. After finishing third in a group containing Juventus and Barcelona, Dynamo dropped into the Europa League and made it to the last 16 before being knocked out by eventual champions Villarreal. Despite the calibre of opposition, Mikolenko made his mark, averaging three tackles and interceptions per 90 with a commendable 75% tackle success rate, abnormally high for a defender in the wide areas. For context, Ben Chilwell, a crucial cog in Chelsea's Champions League winning machine, only managed to complete 50% of his tackles. Whilst we aren't saying Mikolenko is anywhere near Ben Chilwell's level yet, he's certainly worth keeping an eye on. 5. Dusan Vlahovic this summer isn't the first time that Dusan Vlahovic has courted the attention of European giants. As a 16-year-old in the summer of 2016, the partisan prodigy was scouted by the likes of Arsenal and Juventus, before ultimately signing a pre-contract agreement with Fiorentina 12 months later. And whilst Vlahovic's first two campaigns in Florence were unimpressive, making just 14 starts and scoring 6 goals between 2018 and 2020, his last campaign has seen his name enter the gossip columns. In an otherwise forgettable season for Laviola, the 6 foot 3 striker found the net 21 times in Serie A, despite having only scored once by mid December. Only Cristiano Ronaldo, Romelu Lukaku, and Luis Muriel had more goals to their name in Italy in the 2020 21 season, and Fiorentina are now racing to tie the 21 year old down to a long term deal, with his contract set to expire in 2023. Liverpool and Spurs are reportedly sniffing around the 40 million euro rated striker. If Vlahovic keeps this form up, whichever club he plays for will have a certified number 9 at their disposal. 4. Donia Malen Arsenal may regret letting go of Donia Malen in 2017, as since then he has blossomed into one of European football's most exciting young forwards. Bursting onto the scene with a five-goal haul for PSV against Vitesse in 2019, the Dutchman's output has improved in each of the last three seasons, contributing 16 goals in 1819 and 26 in an injury-hit 1920 campaign. Capable of playing anywhere across the front three, Mallon spent the entirety of 2020-21 as a centre forward, scoring 27 goals and setting up 10 in all competitions, earning himself a regular spot in Frank de Boer's Netherlands squad. He also impressed at Euro 2020, setting up goals in wins against Austria and North Macedonia before the Orange suffered an early exit. PSV boss Roger Schmidt has already accepted Mallon will not be one of his players this upcoming campaign, with the youngster having been granted extra time off to finalise a move away from the Philips Stadion. Of course, he's been strongly linked with Borussia Dortmund as their Jadon Sancho replacement, and that could be completed by the time you watch this video. If it isn't, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool could be making a late move for him. 3. Aurelian Tumeni the rise of Renz's teenage prodigy Eduardo Camavinga means our next entry is going somewhat under the radar, but Aurelian Tumeni arguably has just as much potential as his midfield counterpart. A product of the Bordeaux Academy, the 21-year-old was signed for 18 million euros by Monaco in January 2020, and last season was an integral part of Niko Kovac's squad on the French Riviera. The French youth international's 5.2 defensive actions per 90 was the fourth best success rate across Europe's top five leagues, whilst his 3.5 tackles a match was just short of Wilfred Ndidi's efforts at Leicester. He also won 2.4 aerial duels per game, behind just Benop Badiashil in the Les Monegas' squad, another name you should also keep an eye out for this season. Having signed for Monaco relatively recently, Tumeni still has three years remaining on his deal, but would still be a cheap alternative to the likes of Kamavinga and Declan Rice, with the latter being valued at 100 million euros by West Ham. Chelsea are thought to have already shifted their gaze towards Tumeni as a cheap alternative to Rice. They won't be the only club interested though, that's for sure. 2. Jules Koundé a former teammate of Tumeni's at Bordeaux, the pair played 18 games together for the Southwestern club. Jules Koundé has already developed into one of Europe's most sought-after centre-backs. Signed by Sevilla for €25 million Euros in the summer of 2019, the 22-year-old is already closing in on a century of appearances in Andalusia. 
The Parisian has also made his debut for Le Blues, and this is no mean feat considering Didier Deschamps' reluctance to integrate new players into his squad. No player in his Euro 2020 squad was more inexperienced than Koundé. And at domestic level, the defender has already been linked with moves to the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid and Manchester United. It's clear to see why this is, with Koundé winning three aerial duels per 90, more than any other centre-back amongst La Liga's Champions League qualifiers. Calm playing out from the back with a pass completion rate that tops 90%, it might be the fact that Sevilla are a UCL club this season that keeps him around this campaign. Spurs have already been rejected by Kunde. It's clear he sees his future at a far higher level. 1. Callum Hudson-Odoi Despite being just 20 years old, it feels like Callum Hudson-Odoi has been on the footballing landscape for years. Making his debut for Chelsea as a 17-year-old, the youngster has made 98 appearances for the first team already and was expected to be a key component of Frank Lampard's Project Youth at Stamford Bridge. But with Thomas Tuchel now at the helm, Cho's future seems less clear. After starting four of the first five games under the German, the winger, who has averaged 2.8 dribbles per 90 throughout his career, would end the season mostly as an unused sub. This put Bayern Munich back on alert, who had previously had offers rejected for the Englishman in 2020, before he signed a new deal with the Premier League club. Chelsea seemed willing to use him as a trade bait in an approach for Kingsley Coman. However, hudson Doy is determined to remain in West London and fight for his place under Tuchel. 2020-21 could be a defining season for the talented youngster. Let's hope he doesn't live to regret hanging around with Chelsea for a year too long. So those were our 10 wonder kids your club should be signing this summer. But have we missed anyone out? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Euro Football Daily content, then click on screen right now. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.